G'day guys. Recently one of my mates gave me a thing called a TF668X, which is a small AM FM tuner. Single chip radio I see, including an AM FM radio tuner and software defined radio processing. The device is sitting on a small circuit board which is communicated to by USB. And I thought, well, why don't I use it and replace the car stereo in my Pajero? So I've currently been working on a piece of software, which is actually a two-part system. Part of it is in C Sharp, and the other part of it is actually in PHP and JavaScript HTML. So, so yeah, it's a bit of a mishmash but it all comes together quite nicely and I thought I would just kind of give you a quick a quick view of where it's up to just quickly I am not going to sit on any one particular interface too long because um, it's playing music and uh, it's all copyright stuff so I will get flagged if I leave it play for too long anyway let me start this up and you'll get a, a clearer understanding just quickly the music itself is stored in um, a folder structure so I just drop folders into a, a folder called music whether this be genre or whatever else you want to sort of break that out as but uh, inside there each one might have say a band and then there could be albums and then the songs one of the beauties of Windows Media is it will actually go off and collect the thumbnails for the for the song so I know it's not always visible but uh, it's there so I've actually incorporated that into the system so let me just start it up for you I'll just pause it for the moment so at the moment this is kind of the basic sort of interface this is the hard drive section of it so I can click on that label down the bottom there it'll open up to where the song is currently playing as i said you know you can clearly see the folder structure here i'll just bring that back up again for a second but so you've got music uh dance and pop uh so you see the dancer and the pop here and as i said you can sort of open that up kick that out and then you've got sort of the songs here so it's currently paused, so just to play. You can jump to another song just by clicking on it. As I said, if you're, you know, you're not on screen, you can sort of see it here. You can click that, and it will actually scroll to, to the song itself. As I said, I'm not going to leave it play one particular thing for too long, otherwise I will get played. To fast forward, rewind, and skip, it's just a matter of dragging on the label. So if I want to do it to the end, I can sort of, if I've missed something, I can rewind it back. If I want to just go to the next song, I can just drag it right off. It'll just skip to the next song. So, so that's kind of it for the um, the actual media, the, sorry, the MP3 section of it. If you like, like I said, you can click on the album covers, which I'm just dragging in thanks to the media player. Now switching over to the radio. Radio is fairly plain. You've got up, down. Just kind of a stereo indicator in the top right corner there. It does use RDS, so if you land on a station and you haven't already saved it, it will fill that information in, provided that the station actually transmits the RDS data. You'll also get not not just the station name, but whatever else they're sort of broadcasting towards the bottom of the page there. As I said, this is all HTML, so I can change the colors, the layouts, the shapes, the, the you know sizes. But when I click things, my C sharp object is actually. Let me just switch that for a second. So I can talk, my C sharp object is actually a JavaScript object. So it gets injected into the browser. And then I just communicate uh, using JavaScript to the interface. 
be going back to the radio for a moment. So there is um, a station playlist here. So if I'm landing on a station that is actually stored, you'll see it scroll down to the station. You can just kind of click on. If I land on a station that doesn't actually exist in the system, I can just add it to the system just by just when you find a station quickly. So that's empty. It obviously thinks this is new, so I just call it um, blank. Hit plus. So now that's just become blank. So we're currently listening to blank. That's kind of it. So, you know, I, I didn't want to sort of go overboard with the radio. I just wanted it to be fairly... Um, fairly sort of straightforward. Nothing too overly complex. If a stereo... if Sorry, if a channel does lose enough signal, it will just auto-scan up to the next, next station. But that's kind of it. It's all straightforward, nothing overly complex. Easy to use. Ladies and gentlemen. Everything's click and drag. So that's it. If you've got any um, thoughts, if I've missed anything, just leave it in the comments below. That would be awesome. But yeah, I think uh, that's kind of pretty much it. And I'll leave it there. And until next time, Take care.